All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to show you how to create relationships between all the table here. So we go to uh, database tools and relationships. We see one already created. Billing has zip code. With zip code telling you private city and state. Hmm. One billing address can have many zip code, right? One zip can go to many building, a uh, billing. Now, I'm going to start with looking at our customer. Customer should have a contact. So, we said one customer can have one customer can have many contact, right? Many emails. Many home phones, many office phones, so one too many. And one customer can have many billings, right? So I'm going to say one too many. Drag it from the right to the left. One customer can have many building billings, right? So I just create that relationship here, and billing can go to many customers, correct? So one to many too. Now we have billing contact customer taking care. With a customer billing taking care. Now car. Customer has car. So customer one customer can have many car, right? One customer can have many cars, one too many. <coughs> so one customer can have many cars. <coughs> oh, we talk about other contacts, right? So, oh actually we already have emails on other contacts, cell phones. So let me think about this relationship by looking at customer other contact too. Oh, I see. So this one we created for many to many relationships, right? by using other contacts like actually what we try to do is this we actually try to do it this way let's delete this and go to your I'm going to remove email from the contact because we already have other contacts uh, maybe we want to rename this to make it easier to understand. So let me show you. What we try to do is actually when you go to other contact, we want to name it personal contact. Personal contact means I'm not going to share this, right? I can have more than one personal contact. Like if you look at your cell phone and email, this is personal. I'm not sharing my email with anyone. I'm not sharing my cell phone with anyone, right? So that's why this is going to be one too many relationships. By if you're looking at personal contact, should go here. Customer. One customer can have many personal contact, but it's not true for the other way around. One personal contact cannot have many customer, so we just create it this way. And then we happen to use contact. <coughs> this is like public contact or contact that we can share. If you look at this table, like home phone, office phone, then we don't really need the emails here. We're going to delete the email out, right? So like home phone, office phone, you can share, right? So that's why part one design is critical. You don't want to jump in, in to create a database right away. Otherwise, you're going to get confused.
So like you see that I, I don't have a good design, so I was struggling on this a little bit to change. <coughs> now we can just say drag in the contact. Mm. And also since contact, we're going to share between more than one, then I don't need customer ID here. I'm going to remove it. <coughs> now go back to relationships. I'm going to drag in the contact. And we see that your customer contact, this should name customer contact table. Let's rename it. So customer contact table, let's drag it in. Now we said home phone can have many can have many customer okay so I don't like the fields name I'm going to change the field name now so we can just say instead of customer other contact we will say customer contact ID right and also from contact I'm going to name contact ID instead of other okay personal contact we can name personal contact ID all right so come back to relationships again <coughs> now I'm going to deal with customer can have many home phones and office phones and home phone and office phone can be shared among other customers too then I need the many to many relationship means I need to create a new table name customer contact table where we start to assign one customer can have many right contacts and one contact can also have many customer. This is true because if we talk about home phone, it's being shared between your family members. And your family members can be their customers. And this is it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, last one, the service table. Okay, so how do we know that the car has this service? Can the car have many services? Yes, right? Then can one service go to many cars? Yes, that's many to many, right? I mean, service ID actually just refer to the type of service like oil change with the price like many cars can have oil change correct so that's why one service can actually apply to many cars right <coughs> and one car can have many services not only oil change can be tired fixed right then we need another table here like well, I said you actually don't want to do it at the time you're creating it, you should do it on part one when we decide it, right? Now, if you don't des decide it properly, you may run into this issue that I try to show you here. Like you have to go back and recreate the table. So we can name customer car service, right? Table. Then we can create a many to many relationships. I'm going to name the ID as customer car service ID. And now what happened next? We need a number, which is I want to know what is the customer car ID, right? that received their service ID here as number again because 
service ID and customer card details are number tight, right? A lot of people make mistakes by not making it as number. Um, when you make relationship, it will not work. So make sure you take care of that. Now, we should be able to assign services to the car by dragging the customer car service table in. <coughs> and the car is right here, so. <coughs> So we gotta say one car can receive many services, right? And one service can go to the same, I mean, name of service can go to many cars. So the table should look like that. The relationship should look like this. All right, so looks like we have all the relationship taken care of. Let's count all the tables. Make sure you have all the tables in 10 tables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <coughs> and our div is designed for part 2. I mean implementation for part 2 is pretty much done at this point. <coughs> 